Hello, welcome back to Quant Lab in the year 2025. If you're new to the channel, I talk about quantitative finance, AI, financial engineering, using Python to trade. So please hit that subscribe button and then let's move forward. So one of the things that I always try to look for is new platforms to kind of use and figure out what can people do with technology in the world of trading. And I was looking on a bunch of research papers trying to find a very comprehensive platform which is something new and AI powered. But surprisingly, the one platform which I stumbled upon, which is from Microsoft, and I didn't know Microsoft had a platform like this, is like from 2022. It's called Qlib, which is like a quantitative lib. The GitHub repo is very actively maintained, which was a total surprise to me. I did not expect Microsoft to be, you know, people to be maintaining something like this. And it is MIT licensed very good. It's basically an AI oriented quantitative platform. So what I'm going to do is talk about it a little bit. And a lot of people have put in comments that I don't do more of a longer term series. There's a lot of randomness on the channel and point well taken. So what I'm going to do is figure out a way to put sequential videos more on the channel. So I'll start a chop topic maybe on a Saturday is one theme and then Tuesday is one theme. Like I post two videos a week, right? Uh, and if I'm not able to meet that up, we'll see. So they have code and all that. But basically what this kind of answers to is, there are a lot of frameworks like this, which I've talked about before, but let's dive in. So this talks about quantitative research workflow, which is traditionally, there's a lot of linear model investment research may. And the idea is that with AI, there's a lot of technological stuff coming in. So different sort of data can be flowed in, different sort of algorithms can be applied. So that's the research is one. The infrastructure requirements are also very high for uh, doing AI and things like that. And then they have, you know, a lot of obstacles to apply for machine learning and things like that. So in order to solve it, what they have done is Qlib is the first open source platform that accommodates the workflow of a modern quantitative researcher in the age of AI. And this kind of is super good because it talks about different segments and I like the design of the library. So I'll zoom into this and show you what it does. Most likely I'm going to take this library and framework. I've been researching on it for like two weeks, which is why I couldn't post a video, you know, in the past two. But what I'm going to do is try and take this, deploy this, run this and see how can we actually put this to test. So they have a three different layers. One is the static workflow. There's a dynamic workflow and there's analysis. There's a lot of different layers, another like, a, you know, this workflow, but there's lit, there's like a data layer, interday model, interday strategy, intraday trading strategy. So different layers. And then you have a data server, model enhancement, et cetera, et cetera. So order management. And then there's a lot of model tooling around it. And finally, some sort of a risk return based portfolio analysis, alpha analysis, execution report analysis, kind of a feedback. So there's a very well to do module uh, overall there are some depths and technology recommendations like sql server databases that they have used they have talked about more uh, deeper dive into how is the flat file database how is the caching happening which is just under the hood technical done a little bit of comparison i'm not going to get into any of this because it's just mostly theoretical rather hop on to the library and towards the end i'll talk about something brand new that they have introduced so they have introduced something called as an RD agent, which is the topic for next video. As I said, I will do a series, just quick sneak peek, maybe towards the end. All right. So what they have, what they do here is that there are a lot of features that they, why is it not zooming in? Yeah. They have a lot of features that are present in this library. And they have just tried to list them out like portfolio optimization methods, different sort of frameworks are these there, a lot, lot of different stuff. This library, again, as we showed, is basis this. And this is the overall, for instance, there's data coming in. There's a market modeling framework. You have a trading strategy. You have reinforcement learning and supervised learning, recursive decision execution, and kind of analysis and online serving. Online serving means you know, you can consume the results, etc, etc. So this is a very high level framework. And they also have a detailed framework guide, which is this. So this talks about different layers, more tangible than the theoretical layers. 
so it talks about there's a infrastructure layer there's a learning framework supervised reinforcement learning it has everything and then the whole multi level workflow where you have ml based strategies rl based strategies decision making systems and when we do ml we kind of miss some of these elements and then there's analysis systems etc etc some of this is extended by the agentic systems that are coming in which is more like more uh, ai and generative ai kind of stuff but again that's a topic for next video so the starting point is pretty pretty good uh, they have some sort of demos and they run some sort of you know light gpm model with qran and this is more like a video that they are showing that how do you activate and how do you run so they have a demo and we'll we'll just move a little bit forward and you yeah so they do some installation yeah so if you see here what they have done is they have just started to this line like run some benchmark with certain light gbm configurations this is the not at all you know this q run okay and then there's a lot of threading going on and under the hood there's some sort of an instrument which is sh i don't know whatever and then there's some score this kind of just showing some result and finally there's analysis printed like mean standard deviation etc i have not used it yet like still going through the setup process but this kind of is decently comprehensive you think about a framework and you also need to do a little bit of data preparation but they have explained that in the instructions so if you just read this how to do a data preparation it's it's very very straightforward aligns with most recent python versions as i said it's kindly like neatly updated and then very decently documented like different sort of workflows are documented like auto quant research workflow is documented which is some sort of an analysis for a certain security there's some sort of different charts that are there like you can do graphical analysis for instance this is like a cumulative return like projections and then this is like a distribution information coefficient ic normal distribution auto correlation and time series portfolio analysis which is like some sort of a back testing return so lot of details are there and they have also provided detailed explanations of most of these plot as to pl plots as to how do you interpret it so it's it's very very the point is very comprehensively built they also have certain relationships to other paper like you know if you want to go more deeper in the quants there's something like quant model zoo and these are all the algorithms that are present in trading like cat boost is there and stream is there typical al algorithm some of these are popular some of these not so much and they have published basis some data sets results so all in all in totality this is a, a great framework to pick up because i felt that this is doing good this is uh, for the lack of a better word too fluffed with ai ki sab kuch ai se it's very well grounded it has the right flavors i have not tried this for an indian context but i'm going to do that there are certain components that can be improved and are learnable like there's a forecasting model which is learnable trading agent which is learnable workflows are configurable so i'll have to do a deep dive into it but i am hoping to set this up and kind of bring this for into a use case so yeah that's a quick introduction to the framework qlib if there are topics which you are really want me to deep dive in so far i have not been very successful in talking about core mathematical topics like you know i don't know running simulations or some mathematical concepts and things like that but if those are the topics that you want to hear about please put that in the comment and i'll be happy to make a video all right this is akash verma signing off thank you for listening bye bye